Hello everybody, I welcome all of you to my channel Gaming with For Us. So in today's lecture we're gonna be inserting the image practically into our HTML page and see how does it work. I'm gonna be discussing every single thing practically in today's video because in the last video we have theoretically seen the types of images, JPEG and GIFI, so on. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out in the playlist uh, therefore. Now in order to insert an image, uh, you have to have certain things. Uh, you have to have an idea of certain things. Now, to discuss this, uh, that idea, so I'm gonna take you to my screen. There is my image folder. In this, I'm having the HTML file. So I'm gonna open my HTML file. So if you wanna insert the image here, I'm gonna open my tag img with a space. Now I cannot I cannot close this tag since it is a singleton tag. It's having a src attribute, which is gonna provide location to the browser, to location to the browser about where the image is stored. Okay. So there are certain cases possible. I will tell you. The first case possible is that your HTML file and your image is in the same folder that case you just have to give the name of the image with the extension that's gonna insert your image first case let us do this practically src is equal to I'm gonna open the double quotation go back to the folder and see the name of the image this one I'm gonna copy my image name go back here paste it here give the JPEG extension close this one and close my image tag and close my image tag and save it now I'm gonna launch this my this page of mine you can see that image no problem so you can see that image is inserted without any problems and so on now the second case possible is that you have an HTML file but you have an image that is in some subfolder in the subdirectory for that purpose we will see the case now for example if I want to insert if I, I will take this index out now you can see that index is in one folder and the image is in the subfolder so what I need to do I have to use the image name as well as this folder name image to I'm gonna copy this name now go back to the okay okay I'll close this first uh, edit this with notepad plus plus now I have to take mm, okay come right here and from here I have to take from here how I'm gonna do that now you have to st start for the second case you have to take just take the name of the folder and you have to take a forward slash that's it and you have to take the image name with the extension save it reload the page L look at that I got that image so in the second case where your image is in some subdirectory then you have to specify the name of that subdirectory before the forward slash is that clear now coming to the third case where your index file your index file is in some subdirectory your HTML file is in some subdirectory and your image is out of that subdirectory it is just before that subdirectory for example come back to the screen if I'm having my I'm, I'm gonna okay first I'll close this notepad plus plus I will close this web page I will take my index file to this folder and take this image out of this folder okay so the HTML file is in one folder and just before that that image exists where the, uh, there it is so for that purpose I'm gonna use two dots okay oh, I'm gonna open my I'm gonna open my index file with notepad plus plus okay now you can see the change what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna do remove this image just take two dots that's it save it now open this you can see the image no problems so you, have, so you have replaced the name of the folder with two dots where your HTML file is in subfolder subdirectory and your image is in some directory is it clear to you okay that was all about the cases now coming to the next attribute after SRC you have alt attribute now this attribute is going to display the text whenever the image is not present this image is not present here so this will work only if my image is not present or damaged or for some reason graphics 
are unable to uh, our graphics means wherever that image is loaded that web that computer cannot handle the graphics or the internet is slow in certain places this alt is gonna work for in my case I'm having my image here if I remove the image from here and take out to the desktop and now I'll reload my page okay because I haven't saved here I will save this thing now you can see this image is not present here that's what I'm talking about this image is not present here is displayed when your image is not there so I'm gonna take my image back to my folder from here I'll take it back to the image to uh, no, not here okay it was here okay now I will save it now I'll reload my page I got my image now coming to the next attribute that is the I'm gonna take it in next line title attribute now what it is gonna do now whenever the user is going to point the mouse onto the image certain text pops up right certain things are shown for example if I keep my mouse on Google I'll see that Google right for that text that Google text will be displayed by this title attribute if I take this is title tag text save it here save this one here now I'll reload my page you will see no changes now if I take my mouse on now if I take my mouse from here and now if I take my mouse from here if I take my mouse from here and I'll point it here you can see the text this is title tag text is it clear to you that is all about the title tag it is very useful that's it guys for today you can subscribe for more such videos thank you very much